Here's for you Dodge car nuts out there, truck nuts I should say. Uh, I'm going to do a cold start and a uh, brief little walk around my 2002 Dodge Dakota quad cab. Um, last time I drove this truck was uh, Pennsylvania. I drove this thing to the great city of Pittsburgh um, because I had a bit of a problem with uh, my little Hondas. One of them had a bad clutch and the, uh, the other one had a bad and they weren't really trustworthy of driving so I drove this unit all the way to Pennsylvania and then I parked it a couple weeks ago I uh, threw on my plow it's just a snow bear plow it plows the yard it does what I wanted to do I plowed the whole yard all last winter with it it's a cable operated plow not really the greatest not really the fanciest I mean it does have its flaws it's you know it's not a hydraulic plow it's kind of a they can be uh, quite tedious sometimes to fight with, but I mean, uh, other than that, it has been fairly reliable. It's not the plow that's at fault, it's the relay here for this aftermarket winch that I bought that kind of gives me grief, and, you know, sometimes the relays will get cold and they don't do their job. So all you'll, you'll be sitting in the truck fumbling with the switch, and all you'll get is a click, 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 and the plow well is inoperable so then you kind of got to fight with it I've had a few numerous times I've had to take a uh, blowtorch and just very gently go up against the relays just to warm them up just so that the plow the winch would do its job go up and down so kind of a tedious thing if it was minus 30 it would happen that's why I always had to um, end up taking the relay harness and dismantling all of this and take it inside during the night and only hook it up during uh, when there's uh, snowstorms. But other than that, it has been fairly decent, typical Dodge. I'm going to replace a new box on this thing in the spring. Um, not right now though. You know, uh, I got to clean out my got a whole bunch of wood chips in there. Um, but anyway, all in all, a very great truck. It's done me very well. Um, you know, I only. I got this thing for real dirt steel uh, last year, um, like I mean $800 for a truck. But the old man who had it just wanted to get rid of it because uh, he bought himself a brand new one and you know he didn't really care about this one anymore so I really have to clean it. It hasn't been cleaned. It's been neglected because it's been a vehicle that just never moves anywhere but you know what, it, with it being a yard vehicle it's been used by me and a few other people who just get in and out of it and then all of a sudden it gets dirty and fast. Mind you, the truck doesn't go anywhere. Well, except for Pennsylvania. But, a uh, quick vacuum job, it won't be too bad. Give you guys a quick start up of the unit. Alright. Not much fuel in it, so I'm not going to run it all day. i got to go get some more. You know, has nifty features like this. It'll give you how much it keeps going lower and lower, I guess because I'm on a hill. Anyway. So, I have a bad, um, I believe they called it a uh, uh, accelerator pedal sensor. I guess there's a, an, a sensor in around the accelerator assembly. And uh, apparently it also functions off of the GPS sensor. I don't know. It, it's kind of weird, but anyway, sometimes when you let off the accelerator, the engine will stall. Which, you know, I don't know. I put a new uh, TPS sensor in it back in the summer, and it ran great. The light went out, but now for whatever reason, there's another code set for it. 4.7 liter V8. You know, very powerful engine. Like, uh, well, it's not bad at all. It moves for what it is. A plastic intake on it. I don't really care for that much at all, but you know, it does what I want it to do, and you know, I take good care of the truck. You know, the engine is all shined up and spotless. I mean, look at the plastics in here. You know, like I take care. Of, I take pride in my vehicles. I don't let things just, you know, turn bad or anything like that. You know, a lot of people, you know didn't really care for these trucks, they just kind of rotted them right into the ground. 
they were kind of hard to keep them from rusting anyway, but I want to put a new box on here because I mean, yeah, well, that's the reason why right there, so, um, new box is definitely going on it. Or if I can find a used box for a good price, and then I'm just going to um, send the box to the body shop and have somebody paint it there for me. I got way too many projects of my own, so I'd rather just take this to a body shop. I have friends um, that are in the auto body trade. Actually, I have a friend that owns the body shop just over here, so I mean, just send it to him and get him to do it, and then I'll just bolt it on. I mean, there's only six bolts holding it to the frame, so... So, well, like I say, the box is pretty well rotten, but uh, it always was when I bought it. But everything else is all on the truck, which is weird. It's just... No, but I am going to replace the uh, two fenders too because they were kind of getting frosty looking. Oh well, that's just the way it is. That's just the way the Dakotas were. They were, you know, a lot of people liked these trucks. They were a nice truck, but they just kind of rusted away real bad. You know, kind of like the Chevy Malibus. They just rotted away. There was nothing left of them after a few years. So, anyway. 2002 Dodge Ram Dakota Quad Cab for you guys. Uh, we got fog lights. Can't really see them because the plow is on. You know. So it's the uh, 19th of December today, and uh, there's absolutely no snow on the ground at all. So I mean, I don't know if we're gonna even have snow this year. Really got to get rid of this crap in the back of the truck though before it does snow. Anyway, lads and lassies, hope you guys are having a good one. Don't party too hard. We'll catch you later.